allowing me to come into your living rooms. The big story we're tracking at the moment, a day after a horrific case of human sacrifice was reported from Kerala, more shocking details have emerged during the probe. The couple accused of killing two women for financial benefits may have consumed the flesh of the victims, is what the police has shared with us today. We do not have enough evidence to back it up, is what the Kochi City Police Commissioner has said, and the forensic examination and evidence collection will continue today, is what he added. Calling the accused perverts and psychopaths, he said the main intention of the crime was sexual pleasure and Satanism. Rosaline and Padma, remember the two victims, were tied up, brutally killed, their bodies were chopped and parts buried. I beg your pardon, buried. The killings were meant as human sacrifice to end their financial troubles, is what the police is saying so far. And let's take a trip over to India. Because we got one heck of a story. Now, the thing about it is, when you hear about cannibalism, you know, and you say, well, it's the 21st century. Are there still cannibals out there? Yeah. And you said, well, they're probably mostly into the deep jungles and shit like that. No. Actually, you have some more closer to the to main cities, throughout the world. And I mean, hey, come on. You know, they were talking about uh, that serial killer, Jeffrey Dahmer. He killed gay men and he devoured some of them. You know, and he says, well, that's just an individual. There are stories like this that happen constantly. In India, there are tribes deep in India that do, put it this way. One thing about in India is you have many cults, like the Thuggy cult, which was depicted in the uh, Indiana Jones, um, the second film of the Indiana Jones series on there. Uh, I mean, there were, they killed many people and stuff like that. And there were many other tribes that basically uh, cults that basically devoured people. Now, this story, this came out uh, a couple of days ago in the Business Standard and a couple other outlets. India cannibals accused of cooked eight Carolyn woman after cutting her into 56 pieces. The Carolyn couple and an occultist arrested on charges of murdering two women after performing in an occult ritual over a four-month period allegedly told the police that they had chopped up the body of one of the two women into 56 pieces, cooked the pieces, and ate it. But people familiar with the matter said on Wednesday that the three were remanded in judicial custody by the Panthenian court. Koche Police Commissioner C.J. Najuri, sorry if I mispronounced it, said the victims were killed in the most brutal way by Moha Shafi, who took sadistic pleasure to torture the victims and brutalize the two women before they were beheaded. He is basically a hardened criminal, a psychopath, Najuri told reporters at a news conference uh, this past week. Uh, Moha Shafi and the Kerala couple Ba, ba, excuse me, Bhagavo Singh and his wife Lali were arrested on Tuesday in connection with the murder of the two women in a span of four months in the Elador in Pathmita, which later unfolded the shocking tale of greed and superstition. Both victims in their 50s, Padman and Rosalind, were lottery vendors and reportedly trapped by promise, promising financial benefits. As additional details of the case emerged on Tuesday, the dark, grisly details of the couple agreeing to human sacrifice in the Indian's most illiterate state shocked people. Adopting and killing people for wealth and superstition beliefs is a crime beyond imagination in a state such as Kerala, 
Chief Prime Minister Pinyari Rijan said, the Carolyn High Court also took note of the reports. The fact that we were hearing about human sacrifices in Carolyn is beyond shocking. Justice Devon Ramacharan said in an off-the-cuff remark during a hearing in another case. Moa Shafi, the man who prodded the couple into looking for a better life to agree to human sacrifices, police said was paid 1.5 lakka. Yeah, 1.5, looking that up on the computer, US-wise, it's like 150,000 150, euros, one for four, US is 146,000 dollars, 743.50. That's a lot of money. That is money. For getting the first woman to the couple's house, has eight cases registered against them, including the rape of a 75-year-old woman in Colcherry in 2020, Shafi who then worked as a truck driver, was arrested in this case and jailed for about a year after being relayed, released on bail. 52-year-old Shafi shifted his base to Gandhi Najjar in the Kochi earlier this year. There's a lot more to this, and it's a bit gruesome, but, you know, when you look to the perspective that a lot of... Um, that there's still cannibalism in the world. And the, and the thing about it is, you would think it's far out, way out. I mean, you could say India is far out, way out, but technically it's more inner city. It's more saying going outside, you know, if you live in New York, it's like going out to the boroughs. And the thing about it is, this is not, you know, you would think it's, oh, it's just India and all that. There are stories out of Japan, Russia, South America, I mean, even in the United States, cannibalism is around. And you hear these situations where people talk about cannibalism, you know, especially in some of the Hollywood elites, they, they talk about this. You got to get scared at some point. You've just watched a segment from our Madman Cafe show every Sunday night at 6 p.m. You can catch it over at Odyssey. Check in the description below for the link that will lead you to our Q2Cast TV site.